Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and today I got you guys the top 5 hardest world records and world record holders in the history of Call of Duty Zombies and all of these records are seriously really really hard to obtain and are really damn impressive and I want to quickly say this that I will have gameplay showcase of each and every record uh, that I got on the list for sure and some of them will have low quality because it was streamed using different stuff other than Elgato and also by the end of this video let me know your favorite world record record from this video but coming in at number five we have the nuketown flawless world record by mossy he got you around 80 on nuketown zombies now the flawless challenge is basically you're not allowed to go down not even once and nuketown especially it's a hard as zombies map you you probably would have known this if you have played it but uh perk spawns in randomly on the map juggernaut can even spawn on round 20 and this map is in black ops 2 zombies and you have no gobble guns no pack punch abilities and the rounds are really damn slow and it does require a lot of patience to get to a high round and at the same time a lot of focus as the map is really tight tighter than the bum hole for sure but uh zombies are way more aggressive and as a youtuber myself who make videos and sometimes even streams and try to attempt challenges like this knows how hard it can get and i want to say mad props to mossy for actually getting this record basically you will hear this from me a lot so i quickly just want to say mad props to everyone on and off this list now coming in at number four this is a tough one you guys will know when uh, you see the number three spot but at number four we have the black ops one first room challenge world record on shangri la now you would probably already know how hard shang is and th this was on black ops one not on black ops three this was on black ops one and again no gobble guns no pap guns cw got to round 42 in the starting room of shangri la over on black ops one zombies by the help of the phd flopper yes phd flopper was present the feels I know and also by the help of new insta kills and drops like such what he will do is that he will kill the monkeys that would be holding perks and drops that's why he got perks and uh, he would do those dolphin dives and uh, of course we had PhD flopper you know what I'm saying but would require a lot of patience and skill and it definitely can get even harder when you're playing co-op we have nuke R and ZW for two players that got you around 34 and uh, we have the list of three players and four players just down below now coming in at number three we have the black ops 3 shadows of evil starting room world record holder by the name of i'm overcharged such a beast player we have another guy tied with him as well by the name of uh, d man underscore live both of them got to round 34 in the starting room alone of shadows of evil and a quick shout out to uh hey i'm alex who got to round 34 who's also a beast beast player someone i watched for a couple of different record attempts in the past as well now the starting room of shadows of evil is tiny af there's no gobble gum and the only uh, the only things you got on this map is uh, one drop quick revive of course beast mode that you can use every single round and a pod that can give you a weapon but you also get margwa spawning in in the starting room which can be a pain in the arse and getting round 35 could uh, really take up a lot and it is really damn impressive now coming in at number two we have origins easter egg speed run now where do i begin with this i remember just learning the easter egg and it felt really overwhelming uh, don't tell anyone but I have never completed the Easter egg I basically completed the Easter egg but I needed to pull out to save my gobble gums and everything like that so in that regards I never completed the Easter egg but at the same time I did complete the Easter egg but I don't have the trophy if you get what I'm saying but uh, I just remember learning the Easter egg and it felt really overwhelming but I saw Smith plays yesterday streaming and attempting this that gave me the idea to make this video but I want to start from Black Ops 2 Origins Easter egg speedrun as you know we have Origins and Black Ops 2 2, and now Origins Remaster in Black Ops 3 Zombies. So in the Black Ops 2 version, we have Starburst who completed the Easter egg within 52 minutes and 53 seconds. Took him less than an hour and the man is an absolute beast. Of course, there's RNG involved in Origins, but you do need to know everything, like every little step and everything like that. And you need to be on the ball in order to like get numbers like 52 minutes and 53 seconds, right? And in Black Ops 3 version, Origins Remaster, no gobble gums. We have Ty your wheels who completed it within 1 hour 28 minutes and 39 seconds and Smith plays who I was watching yesterday came very close and I gotta say shit was captivating but star is holding the record in my opinion and coming in at number one spot this is the absolute craziest world record in my opinion and it is the no man's land on moon area 51 in black ops 1 zombies we have scotty who got 413 kills and the man is an absolute g i 
do recommend watching his original gameplay video, I will link it in the description. It was seriously amazing how he was uh, actually getting kills, but I wanna just wrap this video right here. If you are new on the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified of future videos and streams and hit that like if you have enjoyed this video. And that is really about it.